everyone, Henry from Smoky Hills and I'm here with Jake today and uh, we got a pretty uh, interesting video that we're doing. Uh, we want to go through some of all the different things that you can get in an RV Edition Ice Castle and I want to run through with the expert Jake over here and uh, show me where all the different components are of the RV Edition and also kind of how to winterize it. Uh, Jake, if you want to, I'm going to just run through and ask a couple of questions. So let's start outside on this 24-foot uh, platinum and uh, let's start with the sewer outlet connection. Okay, so the sewer outlet connection is where you drain your black water tank, cap twist off like that, you connect your hose and the lift valve is inside the bathroom. I'll show you that later. Now, I've seen some of these have a, like a little T-handle on the outside. What, is that the same, but it's just sitting on the outside instead of the inside? Yep, now you notice on all the 17 houses, the valve is on the inside. The older ones, the water would tend to get in there and corrode the cable. So on all the new houses, Ice Castle's always making upgrades. We've got the lift handle on the inside. You don't have to worry with issues anymore. Okay, awesome. So let's move on. Now this looks to be the fridge and the freezer. Correct. And then we have two connections here. And uh, it's kind of loud out here, so we better speak up. But we have two connections, a fresh water in the city. So what's the difference here? Okay, so your fresh water connection here, if you take this cap off, you can stick a garden hose in there. You can, this will fill your holding tank. 15 gallon holding tank on the ice castle is standard. Fill that with that fitting there. Now if you open up this, this is more of your permanent connection. You put a garden hose onto here uh, and this will pressurize the system. This however will not fill your holding tank. Okay, so if I want to travel somewhere where I don't have water, I want to fill this one, right? Correct. Now, and, and so this does give me pressure depending on what's in the, the area that I'm in. Exactly, so if you're hooked up to this, you won't need to run your 12 volt water pump which is inside the house. Okay, awesome. So underneath that, uh, hot water heater? Correct. Okay. So if we look in here, might look scary, but uh, there's not too much you have to worry about in here. Down on the bottom, Nate, if you zoom in here, you can see this is your anode plug. Now this should be replaced about once every two years. Um, this is also used in winterizing the ice castle. Pull this out in the fall, let your water drain out of there, and then we just leave the anode plug out for the fall and put it back in in the spring. So what, what actually the water is draining out of the hot water heater itself? Correct. Okay, because so you, can you run um, antifreeze through it or that's not really a good thing to do? I through don't. through the hot water heater itself. Exactly, it won't hurt the water heater but you'll always get that antifreeze taste. Um, so we tend to shut that water heater down from the inside so we don't get antifreeze in there. We drain it from the outside, leave the plug out in case there's any remnants of water in there and then we'll shut it off from inside the house on when we put antifreeze in the system. Okay, awesome. Let's run inside and go look at everything else inside. 